All right, got to the trailhead uh, late last night. Snoozed in the truck. <clears throat> now I got uh, I got like my shelter here on the ground, drying out uh, from all the rain yesterday. That was a mad dash to get everything thrown back into the truck. <laughs> I didn't even put anything away. I just kind of just threw everything in a pile in the back seat. But um, yeah, got some breakfast happening. Gonna make some coffee. And this is it, man. One last push. I got two more nights um, going, heading back into where I found that chocolate bear a couple days ago. Uh, hopefully he's still there, and hopefully I can get a shot on him. Uh, if not, I mean, hopefully I find another bear. It's definitely gotten a lot greener since the last time I was here, so I think there should be some other bears walking around as well. But um, this is it. Last hoorah in Idaho for spring bear. Hopefully it comes together. Bear or no bear, though. Um, this has been an awesome, awesome trip so far. Really, really pleased with, with the hunt. So, um, already looking forward to next year and I haven't even filled my tag this year <laughs> yet. <clears throat> Hopefully that happens though. So, all right, I'm gonna get some, get some grub. All right, at camp, all set up. Someone just shot a bear. Heard that. Um, at camp, all set up and uh, ready to try to find this bear pretty soon here, maybe get something to eat and then get over the hill here and see if he's still there. Sounds like some bears are walking around though. Just heard that gunshot, that's interesting. Definitely looks greener than when I was in here a couple days ago, so pretty awesome. All right, everything is set. Camp is set up. Um, it's 2.30 right now. I just gotta make a climb up to the top of this ridge here look off the back side got a lot of hours in the day left it's getting dark at like 9 30 here which is freaking mind-blowing to me <laughs> so yeah gonna go see if I can turn something up and then I got all tomorrow to do the same and then the following morning and then that'll be it hopefully in that time um, I can find a bear and put him in the backpack. So, here we go. eating some snacks right now got uh, pineapple upside down cake on the Lara bar and then Justin's maple almond butter solid options 
Um, cloudy day today. Cooler out. Um, I did find a spot that I am almost certain I can shoot this bear from. Uh, it's right around this hook here. I just need to take this hook around and um, walk out to this little rock outcropping. So um, I think after I eat, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go over there. Um, because if the the bear should still be there as long as nobody else killed him, um, and if he walks out right there, then I'll, I should be able to shoot right from where I I'm sitting. So a little bit of an ambush, um, which is something that I do um, often for bears with a rifle. So yeah, hopefully it works out. If not, I'm I'm gonna try that today and tomorrow. And if I don't see him, I'm going to hunt some different country on the last morning and have a good time. So, spring bear hunting. Love it. Man, so I was just walking along here and uh, saw a bear hide sitting here. Right there. And uh, there's a camp right above it. This is right above where I was glassing from. Man, I ran into these kids on the way out. And I told them, I was like, because I wasn't planning on coming back in here. I told them, oh, there's a there's a chocolate bear over here. You know, um, kind of told them where it was. And uh, I'm wondering if this is him. Um, I'd love to talk to these guys. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, well, I guess I'll just head over to this point here and... Maybe I'll see him on the way back to camp. I don't see any meat. I wonder if they're down there getting the meat somewhere. Huh. All right. Pretty cool. <laughs> well guys, I didn't get any of this on film because it happened really fast, but I just missed a bear. So bummed. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I missed out my scope. Got excited. Stuff happens. Got to find another one now. All right, heading back to camp a little early, um, so I can lick my wounds from missing that bear. <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna be right back in the same area though. I talked to the guys that killed that chocolate. They've missed a bear that I missed twice so far and he's still back in the same spot. So, sounds like he's pretty patternable um, and I should get another opportunity. He's not a big bear, but you know what? I drove a long ways <laughs> and packing in, packing out, packing in, packing out would be a great way to cap off the trip. I'd be tickled with him. So, first Idaho bear, that'd be nice. But, uh, yeah, just got a little hike here, get back to camp, get some dinner, and go to sleep. some water chores this morning had a nice breakfast and coffee in camp gosh this place is beautiful absolutely stunning so it's gonna go drop off some water at my camp right up the hill here and then I'm gonna head up the ridge and hopefully find that bear again
nice boar found 1700 yards out from where I was glassing there's a ridge that's in front of them I'm gonna try to get to that'll give me a 400 yard shot he's just feeding on grass right now looks like he's just moseying around so I'm gonna try to make my way over there and get this bear shot this was it the opportunity I had been waiting for the entire trip I had a good bear located a good wind and now it just came down to me playing the waiting game with him. There wasn't a doubt in my mind that eventually the bear would walk out again to feed at some point during the day. After seven hours of waiting, he finally decided to appear. There he is. That bear got up. He just went around this bend hoping that he works down closer. I can't see him right now. There's this large meadow patch of grass though, down the way from where he is. So I'm hoping he works his way into that. What a bummer. I'm not used to missing with a rifle. This is the first time. <laughs> oh, these are the first bears I've ever missed with a rifle. It's all part of hunting though, you know. Just gotta brush it off, move on, and do better next time. So. I'm going to have another night of licking my wounds. <laughs> oh. You know what though? This has been super fun. Fun, fun hunt, man. Rugged, rugged backcountry. Bears are moving now. I've seen bears every day the past five days. Um, so, pretty, pretty awesome. Don't have a bear on the ground, but it's been a killer, killer experience. So, I've got one more morning tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of contemplating on just heading out. I don't, I'm not totally sure. I've got some thinking to do because I'm not sure if I'm confident uh, now. Because I felt really good on that shot and I thought for sure I was going to hammer that bear. And uh, it hit him, it hit high over him. So, we'll see. I've got about an hour or so hike back to the camp right now so and right now it's all up Idaho's awesome <laughs> oh man I'm so glad there's not snow on this hill anymore well like 90% of it's gone this is actually the same ridge that I was going down when I found the first bear about five six days ago and I ended up pulling out of that stock because I was like in waist deep snow and I'm like this isn't a good idea <laughs> but now it's amazing what a couple days makes this is all like totally traversable now so good to know 
for next year. Uh, I know you, you can't really like throw a blanket over weather, but um, it's good to know that uh, for uh, planning next year for next year's Idaho bear hunt, I can't wait to come back. It's been amazing. You know, super duper cool. Fun experience, solo Idaho backcountry bear. Really freaking awesome. Everything looks like a picture out here, a postcard. Can't stop looking at the country. It's sad to leave tomorrow, but gotta get back home. out here with a nice little dark mark on it like a circle kind of cool um, it's at 187 yards my gun was zeroed at 200 when I left Arizona so I'm gonna check my zero quick and uh, if it's good I'm gonna go hunting for like an hour and if not then that's it <laughs> I'm gonna hike out so here we go hopefully it uh, Hopefully it goes good. I'd like to hunt a little bit more. All right, that's it. Um, I'm I'm good. Center punch that rock twice at 200 so my second shot was right in the middle of that dark circle I was aiming at so oh let's try to go hunting again in about an hour This is my ninth day, I believe. Living in the dirt, chasing bears. Awesome, awesome backpack hunt. Um, obviously it's a bummer, you know, I miss those two bears, but you know what, it happens, you know what I mean? I checked the zero of my gun and it was fine, so it was it was me, I, you know, I'm not perfect. I mess up, so I'm um, just gonna learn from it, get better, and be ready for next time. So, um, but I gotta get home. See my little girl, my wife, Amber and Juniper. Daddy's coming home. He can't wait to see you. And I got spring bear coming up next in Arizona. Can't wait for that. Um, if you like the channel, please hit subscribe. If you like the video, please hit thumbs up. And until next time, stay safe out there. Despite two missed opportunities on bears, I walked out of the Idaho backcountry that day with a smile on my face. Yeah, it's hard when you miss. What's often harder though is breaking through your comfort zone and heading into a brand new experience. That alone acts as a barrier and keeps some from making their dreams a reality. So for me, it wasn't about the bears that walked unscathed. It was about the memories I made doing something that I had fantasized about for years. This isn't the last time I'll traverse Idaho's wicked beauty and gaze upon its relentless landscape. There are many more days to be spent in the quiet.